So I, I want to ask you about, I've been talking and thinking, you know, after the, the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington, the 50th anniversary of Four Little Girls, um, about leaders, in, in especially African-American leaders. Who are they? Where do you see, do we need one? Do we need leaders in the same sense that we needed a Dr. King or a Bayard Rustin or a James Baldwin? Where do you see our leadership now? I, I think it has to come from the same place. I, I think it has to come from the universities. I think um, women uh, strongly because uh, when you see 70% in research that says they're the leaders of the household, what we need is for people to realize, I want to raise my kid. I want to go back and get my three kids. I, I want to take on that responsibility. I want to love my children. You know, one of the great pictures that, I mean, reaches me, because it is special, is to go to, for instance, uh, the Essence uh, Affair and walking Festival. around to see a, yeah, to, to see a, a, a black male with his child on the shoulders and holding, I mean, that means something. And I'm sure that this president of the college knows what it feels like to, 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 to welcoming the fresh people in and look out and see father serious about it because it's it's not difficult to do and you don't have to just jump up one day you can ease yourself into it of course we have great things happening graduates of the naval academy the military academy graduates of all kinds of morehouse and miles and colleges Harvard like that and Yale. by the same by the same token, we also need those people. Go to community college. Okay, so you backed up and you didn't do well. You quit school, but now you find you need that high school credential. Go to the community college. Get yourself there. Put your body in line. You're going, and, and, and I don't like the phrase reinvent yourself because you never were invented. Just right. go and sit there and understand you're going to get an education. Because that's what happened to me. At age 19 and a half, I just knew that I didn't want to do certain things. And it wasn't what they were doing to me. It's what I wasn't doing. It's right. a very simple thing. He also talked about how some young people, some young people on that path or simply any path to success can get derailed. And he's got some strong words, very strong words for those who are supposed to help get those young men back on the right path. Listen now. Our criminal justice system in terms of our teenage people in some cities, if you could walk in and look at how many people are in charge of a kid who's coming in with the suit on and whatever that kid has done or they've said he's done. How many people, if they did the job correctly on the chain, could make the parents of the child feel better? Could Maybe the kid won't understand it, but the explanations are there. We have places that kids go to, boys, juvenile. And the director said to me of this one place, you know, 70% of our kids are medicated. Okay, give yourself eight months of taking medication to keep you subdued. And by the way, I, I told these young fellows who were incarcerated, if you don't feel right, if you want to talk to somebody, go see the, the, the psychologist. Afterwards, this woman came to me and said, thanks a lot. There'll be a line all the way around my for people to see me. I didn't say anything to her. But my point is, if you drug these people 
and then you release them, and then there's no prescription for them to get, to take, to do the same thing, and they go back to the same place. Now, about this time, this is when you hear the no-grows jump up and say, why don't you talk about the good things? Why don't you do Because the good things happen to be taking care of themselves pretty well. We're mm -hmm. trying to help those geniuses, those uh, not geniuses, people who deserve because they're human beings on this earth, in the United States of America. We're trying to get them in a position so that they will understand and want to. Why is so it so hard for some people to get that message, though, to, to hear that message, to receive that message, and, and without lashing out? Well, it's because they feel, I think, I think they feel embarrassed. I think they feel embarrassed about, you know, um, Sammy Davis said something to me one day. We were in, playing in a routine, and I told him I knew something, and he said, no, you don't. And, and I said, yes, I do. And I said it, and he said, no, that's not the way it goes. And then I said the same thing louder, and he said, Bill, saying it loud don't make it right. <laughs> and so in every loud voice you hear yelling about something and saying, well, you, you just, you, 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 you lost us. You became a millionaire. The reason why I'm giving you this information is because I was living in the projects. I was not taking care of myself in terms of managing my education. And once the door opened and I saw, quote, unquote, the light, right, I've right. started to become very successful.